Welcome to the ACT Premium Cloud video series. In this video, we will explore opportunities in tracking your sales cycle in ACT. Let's begin by looking at the detail view of an opportunity record. To access opportunities, I'm going to click Opportunities in the left navigation. If I choose to, I can go to the Lookup menu, highlight Opportunities, and select All Opportunities. And this will give me a list of all opportunities in my system. Now maybe I'm only interested in the open opportunities, not the ones that we've won or lost. So in these filters at the top, instead of having my status be all, I'm going to click none and then choose open. When I click outside that selection screen, ACT will refresh, showing me only the open opportunities. And now maybe I'm only interested in the ones that have some sort of monetary total. I can sort by these fields by clicking them. So if I click Total, ACT will resort my list based on the most valuable or least valuable total. Okay, that's more like it. Now I'm interested in this opportunity, Bix Longhorns West Texas. So I'll click that to look at the opportunity detail view. First, notice the status area. This opportunity is open. Below that is the process and stage area. Here it's important to note that the process level is higher than the stage level. Each process will contain a subset of stages. When you select a process, you can see the stages beneath it. Generally, the first stage is listed at the top, and the final stage concludes the sales cycle at the bottom of the list. The stage consists of two parts, the name of the stage and the probability percentage that the opportunity will close with a win at this stage in the process. For example, if I choose my initial communication stage, it will show a 10% probability that we will win this sale at this point. When I advance it to the needs assessment stage, the probability rises to 25%. You can set up your own processes, stages, and probability figures to match your own opportunity cycles. In the totals area of the opportunity screen, you'll see both a total and a weighted field. Both of these fields are read-only because their amounts are fed from a combination of the Product Services tab and the Probability percentage. To add or edit a product for this opportunity, look at the Product Services tab. Here you can use the Add Product button to create a new product or click the Edit button next to a current product that's already listed. When you do this, the Add Edit Product window will open. On this screen, you can set up details like the name, the quantity, the cost, and price for your products or services. While you can list the quantity of items on an opportunity, ACT does not track your inventory. Also, keep in mind that the cost field represents what it costs you to manufacture or provide the product and service. The price field represents the amount at which you're selling it. It's good to know the difference between these two, perhaps so you can offer discounts without losing money on the deal. The weighted total field is computed by figuring the probability percentage of the total amount of this opportunity. As the opportunity progresses from one stage to the next, the weighted total field will increase. Let's click the dashboard link in the left navigation to see a graphical representation of the opportunities in our sales pipeline. As your sales team closes deals, the opportunities components on your dashboard will reflect the latest numbers. Lastly, you can assign an opportunity to any number of contacts in ACT. Once you do this, the Notes, Activities, and History tabs on the opportunity record will pull information from those contact records. This concludes this video on getting started with opportunities.